cold, cold, warm, cold, hot, cold. What if I want warm? Not warm, cold, warm, warm. That's what we're here for today. It is finally time we're going to install the warm rinse option on the older Whirlpool washer. So the first step is to unplug the unit just in case and then we'll take out the two screws and get the control panel open. Here's the switch I'm going to be using. This is a uh, single pull, single throw, on off, two contacts and it's rated at 6 amps. That's plenty because really as we had discovered in a previous video, the water fill valves use about 6 watts. So that is well, well below 6 amps. I don't even need that beefy of a switch, but that's what was available. So my memory has been refreshed now that I see it again. Here are the valve connections. The cold is on top, and that's yellow with a red tracer. And below is brown with a red tracer. So those up in the panel are these two that I bent out. So the brown with the red and the yellow with the red. The other is just a yellow wire. There's no red tracer on it. Okay, here are the two wires, and this is it. Oh, that's it. The machine won't work anymore. Error code's all over the place. That's right. So we have those clipped. Now i got to strip those, get a length of wire that's going to go to the new switch, and uh, we'll start wiring. And there we are. Up is on, down is off. Perfect. Just what I wanted. I have found an appropriate ring terminal that will fit the screw that goes back on the switch. These ring terminals also fit the wire like that and then I'll crimp it. And over here I have all the wires stripped. So pretty much all we need to do is tie these wires together in with that with a couple of um, what do you call it, wire nuts put the connectors on the end of this and we'll give it a test. Okay, I'm just using what I have. So these are the connectors I have. They do sell crimping tools for this, but I don't like them. I like to use a nice linesman's plier and squeeze the ever loving fuck out of these. Don't want them to come loose because this is going to be 120 volts. There we are. That's not going anywhere. And I can even put a little heat shrink on that if I wanted to, which I might do just to dress it up a little bit. Put the other one on. Oh, I'm having a condensate drain. Just about like that. And squeeze that. got the insulation in there but that's fine either way it's not going anywhere so that's it and now we mount those on the switch I'm gonna do that later when I go to install the side panel uh, for now again I want to work on the wiring on the machine okay I have the yellow done there's no magic here folks I mean it's we cut the wire so we can put it into a wire nut the yellow and red tracer was cut and spliced back together into the black and I'll use the red on this side that's just happened to be the color wires that I had it really doesn't make a difference so we'll start by putting the wire nut down putting these together and the wiring here is you know I mean there's just barely enough because this was never meant to be to start with and then this wire go in here about like that and then we'll twist those together like that and squish that and then put the wire nut on and obviously I'm going to electrical tape the fuck out of this like I did the uh, lid switch kill and there we are so that's our new wiring this will go to the switch. So again, what this is going to do 
is regardless of which of these has power, whether it be the yellow or the brown, it doesn't make a difference. Power is, if the brown is energized, power is gonna go down the red over here and through the switch be connected to the black and energize the yellow. And that way, both valves are gonna run. It's that simple. When you get hot and cold together, you get warm. You know, it's, uh, what is it, the yellow and blue make green seal, so it's kind of like that idea. Well, we're here with tropical fish dealer Rudy Laszlo, who thinks his zipper bags are fine and won't switch to Gladlock zipper bags. That's correct. Uh, Rudy, what do you say we drop these piranhas here into your little fish heaven? Nope, 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 nope. Sealed in either your bag or the Gladlock bag with the yellow and blue make green seal, which means the bag is closed. Your bag doesn't have a green seal. These are my little friends. Use the Gladlock. When it really counts, get Gladlock. Can you hear that? They're applauding you. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. We can put these back. I'm going to tape this up good. And then maybe we'll uh, give it a quick test before anything else. Okay, we are ready to go. Timer's turned on. Water switch set to cold only. And we're going to apply power to the machine. It should start filling with cold. We're only going to listen for the difference in the water pressure. So go ahead and kick on the timer. There's cold, and if I touch these, and there you go. So all we have to do is just hook that up to the switch, put everything back together, and she's done. Trying to do a job that takes three hands with only two. Just trying to get the screw started in the switch. There we are. Let me get that wired in. Okay. And there's our side panel with the switch. And if you want warm rinse, you turn it on. If you don't, you shut it off. Just like that. Now we're gonna go put the side panel back on. It's remounting the hinge to this. It's a lot easier doing it this way than on the machine. So that's pretty damn near impossible. So that's it, just like that. It hinges as you see. And now with any luck, this will go in and turn like that. And there we go. And now I have to just get this into position and shoved back on the panel here. So let me fidget around with that because that's going to be a little bit of a trying process. Put some tape around that switch, hooked up the other switch there, and we're ready to lower the panel. The wires will just stay tucked in there neatly. A little bit of resistance from here, why is that? You might have to lift up. Yeah, this is a little uh So the Yeah, lift up. Oh, I see. Oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we are. Perfect. That fit pretty well. Put the screws in. There we are, okay. and no one will ever know the difference. Let's take a look. There it is, folks. Warm rinse. I'll go ahead and put some labels on that just, just because, or I could even put them on here with an arrow and whatever, but there's the warm rinse right where it's accessible. Perfect. Now let's uh, turn it on. We still have the machine on cold. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I'll I'll move this right over to rinse. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So now we have water going in. It doesn't matter. The switch is down and off. It doesn't switch or do anything. No matter what I do. But if I take the switch on. There's your warm rinse. Off, takes just a moment. On, and that's it. And you can see, 
the dial is in rinse. And there it is. The warm water. It's getting warm now. I'm just waiting for the hot water to get here. And let's put the uh, thermometer in there too. Uh, it's just kind of a tight shot. That's cold. And you can see that needle definitely move up. Put it back to cold. And the needle moves down. So there you go, folks. Proof. Warm rinse enable. We got it. Perfect. Now there's more to the story. The more to the story is that this switch overrides whatever this is set to. So if that's on, you're getting warm, and that's the end of the story. So even if I want it hot here, and I put it on for uh, a wash cycle, right now the switch is off, it's taking hot. And yeah, that's hot. But if I kick this on, we're gonna get warm. So then we just turn the hot enable timer over here. Go ahead. You'll hear the clunk of the electric valves. And now we have just hot water. When that timer expires, it's gonna fill with warm. So there's your hot warm, utilizing something I invented a long time ago. And, you know, if you wanted to do this as a completely manual process, you could, for all intents and purposes, start the machine on cold, and then after it starts agitating, put it on warm. If you wanted to, you can do it. You can do a warm warm, which is pretty much what that is. When it's on, it's warm warm all the time. You can do a cold warm. You can do um, you can do a cold hot if you wanted to. Yeah. Because if we put that over, um, let's switch this. We'll put it back to rinse. Okay, so now this would normally be cold. Right now the switch is on, so it's warm. If we turn that, it's gonna kill the cold water. And we and kill the filter. Yep, there we go. Now you kick that on, the valve shuts, and there's hot water. So you could do a cold hot if you wanted to. The options are there. Some are you know, a little bit manual. Others are completely automatic, depending. But there it is. Now I have the warm rinse option on the older Whirlpool washer. It's on rinse, water pressure is higher, switch is on. Once again, it doesn't make a difference where you turn that. It's taken warm and that's the end of the deal. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned because I got another machine to do this to. Oh, selfie machine. You know it. <laughs> uh oh, what are you doing? What am, I do what am I not doing? Right. Alrighty, stay tuned. We'll do it again.